Hey y'all, it's Kirsten coming at you with a video unboxing and testing out a brand new toy. Y'all know how much I love my machine, so here we go. As you can see from the instructions, it is a new 2-in-1 mug tumbler press. Look how pretty she is. My tumbler press is made by Vivor. Um, I did purchase online through Amazon um, at a really great price, but I think I'm gonna name her Blue. So here I am with the image that I printed from either Creative Fabrica or um, design bundles. I can't remember right offhand. Um, and just showing the technique of how I cut down my image to fit around my tumblers. So now that I have the image cut down to size, I will grab my tumbler and some alcohol to give it a nice cleaning. Um, the tumbler that I selected was a 16 ounce tumbler from Johnson's Plastics um, that I had laying around the house open. So I wanted to give it a real good clean before trying to press the image. Now here I am with my um, tape dispenser with some heat transfer tape to tape up my image. I do like to align the image with the top of the cup um, against my flat surface. Uh, just keep in mind if you're not using a design that really doesn't matter which way it goes on. Uh, or you're using a design that has wording, uh, I want to make sure that you have the design flipped to the right side um, so that you don't do like I've done, where I've taken a very good tumbler and ruined it by placing the design upside down. And as you can see, I don't do a lot of taping. Um, and it's not for trying to not be wasteful or anything of that nature. I just don't see the need of doing a lot of taping. You can feel and you can tell if there's going to be air, um, under your design, if you fill your cup. Um, so you can kind of, you can kind of tell if it's going to be a problem with air. So I don't tape or use a whole lot of tape. So I rub, uh, just rubbing around it, filling to see if I feel any type of air gaps. And I do take it and kind of rub it up against a flat surface. Then I take either my fingernail or a um, cuticle stick, or in this case, um, a very small embossing tool, and just kind of run it down the seams um, where the two edges meet just kind of 
pressing those seams down tightly. And now I'm going to go run and get my heat press. Um, as you can see from the controls, it does have um, buttons to control or to set your temperature and your time. Um, it also has three built-in modes, so you can actually set three different temperatures and times and use those as you need them. So I'm going to let that heat up. It normally takes, uh, well, it heats up very fast, and I would say it took anywhere from two and a half to three minutes for the heat press to um, get up to 385. And in the background, I'm working on embroidery, so if my time is not accurate, it's because I wasn't paying that close of attention. <laughs> So it is at temp and it does beep to let you know when it reached the desired temperature. Um, I have to run downstairs to my garage to get a piece of butcher paper um, because that's where my butcher paper stand is at the moment. And as you can see as well by my timer, I have it set for 50 seconds. I will do only two presses. 50 seconds on one side, then I will rotate 180 degrees and do another 50 on the other side for a total of 1 minute 40 seconds. Alrighty, here we go with the first press. Okay, time to rotate. Um, so please have your heat gloves handy as these tumblers do get very hot. And here's the second press. Once the second press is completed, I will turn the press off and set it to the side and get a cooling pad to set the tumbler on. And let's reveal the results. Look at that tumbler. Look how amazing the colors look. Again, 50 seconds on both sides for a total of 100 and uh, one minute and 40 seconds. Beautiful. Just beautiful. <laughs> 